Look, people don't look towards any leader at all. And this is a, a, a phenomenon that goes back to time immemorial here, no matter what they are, no matter what causes they might support here, uh, dark, light, or indifferent, people want to be led, whether it's into the slaughter or into some kind of salvation, whatever it might be, um, so people are easily strung along. Uh, the, the debt is going to continue to balloon. Uh, debts and deficits are going to explode by design until this all ends. This is all leading into a climax where a, a whole a whole new thing is going to come here. Uh, we already have a one world government run by the central banks. Uh, they are stringing the world along with them. Everything we're seeing right now has been planned out decades ago. We're just living in the side effect of it. There's nothing that's happening in the now. It's all been preordained and pre-planned here. And there's no way out. They already have all the pawns in place. They're stringing the people along via the mainstream uh, outlets here. It's an incredible situation. And people are being turned into slaves, nation slaves, individual slaves, like I've been telling them for years. Personal debt, household debt, everything's exploding. The currency is losing its value. Uh, food banks getting overflowed. Um, they can't keep up with the demand here. Real wages are, are gone. Uh, they're deeply in the negative as, as inflation continues to surge with a no end in sight here. And yes, who's being held to accountable? Who's being held to account? Nobody. I've been asking that question for the longest time. When are we going to hold anyone to account? And it's, look, the central banks are the root cause of everything we're seeing. They are the ones pulling the strings. They are the puppet masters. Henceforth, why they are central banks around the world. They have a stranglehold on us all. And they're going to continue to work in concert to, con to propagate their end game. Their end game is to own the world. It sounds like a science fiction movie. It's to own us all, to create everyone uh, individual slaves, nation slaves, like I've been telling them, to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. This is what they want, and they got it. They're there now, and there's no way to stop it. Can't be done. We would need divine intervention for this to stop because there's so few of people like you and I, the people that follow our work, that really understand what's going on. It is so diabolic. It is, it's just so twisted. And if people think they've seen it all, they haven't seen anything yet. Honestly, I tell you, you cannot be in any one asset in my view. All right. uh, you got to be somewhat diversified. You must have hard assets. OK, um, you know, silver is my favorite asset of all time. I have it all over my desk. I just like to look at it and touch it and play, and play with it. Um, you know, so, you know, you got to just look at everything. And but, but like, again, in a worst case scenario, what's all this going to mean anyway? Uh, you can have piles of stuff laying around. If you don't, you know, what we're, we're talking about, like, you know, you can't eat gold, you can't eat silver, I'd love to have it, but there's going to be a massive increase in that from the finance, from, from understanding how this is going to play out as cash bleeds out of the debt market. When we get that implosion, rates will spike, a lot of pressure on the stock market, which is going to sell off in an epic way. I mean, there's no doubt that the biggest crash ever, ever, ever is coming in the stock market. Uh, who knows? We can have an 80% sell-off with regard to the the uh, S&P 500. It's very, very possible. And all that cash you know, is not going to grow little cash wings and grow to, and fly away to money heaven. It's just going to move. It's going to move into commodities, into real things. Um, that, that's how I see this playing out. I also believe uh, the market cap of cryptos is going to balloon. Um, so, you know, you need exposure to lots of different things with regard to, you know, understanding how this is going to play up from a financial standpoint, but it goes beyond financial. You know, that's why I leave off every Friday with the same things. That's the most important thing. This is all lovely. It's a, to me, I love the game. I really do. I get up every morning and I say, okay, how is this playing out here? Looking at the stock market. It's almost like a video game, you know, moving cash over here, taking it from over here. It's not even real. It doesn't exist. It's all digits anyway. You know, it's literally like playing a video game. So that I love. I love that whole part of it. And at the same time, understanding that you must be betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, getting prepared for the movement of cash. I do not care really about the day-to-day -day movement of, of, of the market. I don't even really think about it anymore. I used to be more of a day trader, swing trader. I'm not, I totally don't do that anymore. Um, I'm in the market here owning large cap dividend paying stocks. Some of them have done not so well. Some of them have done very well. But I, I trade around these positions now by selling, becoming a net seller of options onto the market. Generally, I sell puts. 20% out of the market expiring 
uh, like in a month. So I'm pulling what's called premium. I get paid up front, pull premium out of the market. That's it. So a lot less risking than what I was doing before for a very long time. And it's a young man's game. And I'm, I'm not that young anymore. I'm 56. So uh, believe me, I feel it in my body and everything else. But, um, but we've got to look at the bigger picture. We've got to sit back here and see what's really important. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave. You forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marcus Dan.